Hi. Hi. Bad time? Oh, no. I was just getting ready oh. to get ready for tonight. Did you bring it? As requested, this envelope contains some of the hottest tips on stock options that my stockbroker could come up with, and my advice to you is burn it as soon as possible. Why? Because people who don't have enough money for even paper clips should not be involved in the stock market, let alone the riskiest end of it. Well, what if I told you that I have money? Well, then I'd ask you where you got it and pray that it was legal. Jax and I went gambling in Atlantic City, and we gambled for really high stakes against some of his old friends, and I won. So big, you cannot even imagine how big I won. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm happy for you. But falling into extra money doesn't mean you should blow it on riskier investments. Oh, it does for me. Why is that? Well, because I want to take a chance, that's why. For what? I'm trying to keep up with Jax. Brenda, <laughs> the man practically prints his own money. I know. I don't really mean literally. Uh, look, I am taking care of myself these days completely. I am independent. I mean, I want him, but I'm also doing just fine without him. Yes, you are. You are doing just fine without him. And I, for one, would like you to keep it that way. Do you have a few minutes? For you, always. Good. Because you're going to help me pick out my dress for tonight. And in that time, I'm going to convince you that there is only one man in the whole entire world who will ever truly make me happy. And that's Jax. <laughs> okay, okay. This one? Uh, okay. Or this one. I have no idea. You hate them both. I love them both. Well, I can't wear them both. Okay. Which one do you think Jax would like the most? Uh, this one. Then wear the other one. Would you stop? Never. Brenda, Jax is no good for you. He wasn't the first time around, and he certainly isn't now. Ned, you just don't like him, and it has nothing to do with past history. It has everything to do with past history. You had to choose between Jax and someone else. But you chose someone else, and now that person is gone, and Jax is still here. So you think it's fate that has brought you two together. Well, it's not fate. That's an illusion, and I'm not supporting it. But what about the fact that I love him? <sighs> Brenda... You also loved Sonny. And look where that got you. Ned, I am not the same little girl who let Sonny lie to me for two years about his business. All right? I watched that little girl crash and burn, and I built her back up piece by piece. And I am stronger, and I'm wiser because of it. And I'm healthy enough to make my own decision now. There are more than two men in this world, you know. Why don't you take a little time and just look around? No. There's only one for me. Look at him. After everything that's happened, he's still here. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a reason for that. And it's the same reason that he'll leave you. No matter what you do to make him stay. Mantles them. Piece by piece. That's all he knows, Brenda. And that's exactly what he's doing to you. I realize that Jax is very ruthless in business, but he has never been anything but kind to me. Why are you even making this analogy? Because it's all about closing the deal. He perfected his role as concerned friend, and just as he planned, you fell for him again. But it's all been calculated. You have been raided by a master. If you're right, then why doesn't he just take me now? Because he's enjoying it too much. He's no. worked too hard, and now he's enjoying the victory. No. It's... He's protecting himself. And I don't blame him. Be realistic. In all likelihood, he's already moved on. No, he hasn't. The truth <clears throat> is sometimes a very unpleasant sight. <laughs> but turning away... Doesn't make it look any better. You are wrong. And I understand that you're well intentioned, but you're wrong. Jax and I. 
We're just meant to be together. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Come here. Yeah. Why? No. If Jax will make you happy, then I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, even though I know you're lying. All right. I have to go home. Okay. And uh, forget about the dresses. You could wear a pillowcase and still be the best-looking woman there. Aw, I love you. Love you, too. <laughs>